Battle of the Bosaws. Today we're looking at the previously reviewed Seven Saw and the Agua Canyon Bow Reel 21. So over a year ago, we tested out the Seven Saw uh, and I recently picked this bad boy up. Wanted to kind of see the difference in ergonomics as well as blade profiles, what they could do and would basically a saw about double the price. This one coming in about $65 and this one coming in about $35 and it's big brother coming in about 40. Uh, if there was really a significant difference in the price point to their performance levels. So we will have links in the description below over to Amazon. That's a great way to help support the channel when you guys use our hyperlinks that we offer you throughout this video. So if one of these two saws stands out to you, regardless of its value or if it's performance, if you guys use those hyperlinks, it really helps us out to get out here and do testing just like you're seeing here in this video. So let's hit it and see what these two saws have to offer and if there is a significant performance difference. So here we are with the bow reel 21 very simple to set up you just swing your green arm or orange or yellow whatever options they have this guy comes around there's a little slit that you feed your blade into like so and then it's just tension right here at the end make sure your hands out of the way right here because it will snap boom you're snapped into place now to take this apart be really conscientious because of the friction if you pull this without really paying attention, it will absolutely swing that blade around. So make sure no one is standing around you and just really hold it securely as you pull the tension off. And there you go. Because if you don't, it'll just swing right open. You could you know, nick yourself or hit somebody else near you. And now for the seven saws, you got your little wing nut back here. That comes off. That's the one part of this that I'm not super pumped about. I would definitely keep a couple spares if you are gonna go this route because this could easily fall into the snow or just get lost. Slide the red handle off, your blade becomes exposed. Always gotta kinda play with it a little bit. Then your wing nut goes on the other side. You just tighten that as much as you need to to make sure you have the tension that you need. So hitting a few other points with you here, both of these, when we were looking at the 21 inch versions of the seven saw versus uh, the bow reel, that's a 21 inch as well. Um, both are gonna be super close in weight. Uh, the uh, seven saw in 21 inch version is gonna be 17 ounces. Uh, the bow reel is 18 ounces. So right there, neck and neck, both are made out of aluminum bodies. Um, the seven saw is made in the US and from every, I, it took me a while to hunt around, but from what I understand, uh, the bow reel is made in Canada. So, um, and I'm seeing great quality on both of these, not, not seeing any sort of issues or anything like that with their aluminum bodies and, and everything. Um, the blades are super easy to purchase, not only through um, their own websites, but also at any hardware store, you just get the right size and, you know, uh, barring some sort of fluke, they should fit in right away, no problem, or you can go to their websites. Um, and you can use different types of blades as well, particularly on the bow reel website. They had lots of different options. If you want like um, a meat cutting saw and bone cutting saw, different types of, of saw blades that you can purchase through them as well, as well as a sheath options, which was kind of cool to, to carry your saw if you wanted to throw it over your back and don't want to put it in a pack. So that was kind of a cool plus. So for Brian and I who are out there testing these and that you're seeing the, the footage that we're rolling in, uh, it really came down to um, ergonomics. And that was really the, the kicker for us that the bow reel has a much more ergonomic handle uh, because of the plastic that has been screwed in over the metal. So it's warm to the touch, particularly, you know, when you're out there in the cold, uh, that was a huge plus. And the angle with nothing getting in the way and just a very large area to move your hands around gives you a lot of um, options and just easily grips and you don't have to constantly reset your hand. That is not the case with this seven design saws. You have a pretty small portion down here where you're really technically supposed to grip. Your The wing nut gets in the way a lot. And so it's constantly kind of rubbing into you and, you're, and what has 
always happened ever since I originally reviewed this. You're constantly trying to figure out where your hand goes. You're like, does, does it, is it better up here? No, not really. Is it better down here? No, not really. And so you never really have good ergonomics and you're constantly kind of swapping your hand around. And so you're not uh, getting a consistent cut and that you're able to just go to town without it either the wing nut biting into you or you just getting fatigued. Even though they're, they're the same angle, your hand is just feeling like it's in a different way and you have all this weight up above where you are kind of right in the center of the bow here which is just a better overall setup and then you have more clearance up here near the 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 head of the saw whereas you have this angle near the lower end now obviously this is the smaller version they do have a you know 21 inch version that's the same size as this but you're going to run into those exact same problems with the larger version of the seven saw now as i touched on earlier with the wing nut possibly getting lost and you should always have a backup if you are going to go the seven saw route and it is you know about half the price almost um definitely uh the 21 inch versus the 21 inch here is about 25 dollars difference um, but the other thing i just wanted to touch on is there are these little pins that hold whoop there it is on this side right here that hold this little peg into place. So you would remove that to replace the blade when it comes time to replace a blade. And these have the exact same style as both of these saws do. Um, uh, and so you would pull that out, pull the pin out, replace the blade. The thing to note is, uh, and there's one right back here as well. They do send you two extra ones of these little kind of like, I don't know, they're not washers, but kind of keepers. They, they do have those extra in case you pop them off or lose them. Um, but they're, it's not, I've never seen them before. Hopefully you can find those at like at hardware stores. That was my only kind of critique is that that could be tricky. The bow reel is the saw for me, folks. Uh, I use saws a ton. You've seen that a lot here at the channel. We've got folding saws, bow saws. We have all kinds of different versions. And for me, I see value because of the ergonomics for the most part compared to the seven saw ergonomics. Uh, I'm constantly, as we've talked about, fighting on where to put my hand. This one, one and done. It is technically even a two-person option. You know, you can get somebody if you're really going through a piece of wood and you just want to crank it out. There, there is the option for that um, capability. And uh, you know, for the price point, yes, you're paying a little bit more, but I believe you're going to get a lot more performance uh, and just comfort and longevity. You know, it, it they, the blades are about the same, so they saw about the same. But when you're constantly readjusting your hand and getting fatigued and tired, you're just not gonna do as much wood processing as you can with something like this that feels perfect in the hand and you can do it for an extended period of time. So thank you so much for coming over here today, checking out the channel. I hope this video has helped you out when you are on the in the market for a bow saw. And uh, check us out on all the relevant social media. That's a great way to see what's up and coming, projects we're working on. Please subscribe, comment, like, share this video. Love to hear your guys' thoughts, answer any questions that you have. If you're not a current subscriber of Gideon's Tactical, I'd invite you to become part of our YouTube family and make us part of your regular YouTube experience. We're throwing up videos every single week, just like this, giving you guys data points, information, action, so that you can make a wise purchasing decision when you're throwing down your hard-earned money. And finally, always remember, stay equipped, stay prepared, and we'll see you out there.